Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with eight kiddos. I wanted to um, do a video today on, um, because this is our first year um, doing the online courses for my freshman, for my ninth grader. I wanted to kind of do them separately. Um, how I have liked the different um, websites that we use for online curriculum and the different curriculum pieces. I wanted to focus today on the Shorman math. When I was looking for a math for him for freshman year, so we were previously doing Matthew C and we did that for pre-algebra and algebra. And yes, I liked it. It gave him a good foundation the Shorman math, I knew when I found this curriculum that this is what I wanted to do for ninth grade. I um, was very set on doing a online curriculum pretty much from here on out for math because number one, it gets super hard to check. And number two, I did not go all the way to like pre-calculus or anything like that. I think I stopped at like algebra two, I guess. And so I knew that if he was going to be doing anything higher up, that is not my cup of tea. Um, so I wanted to focus on Shorman math today. I know there are a lot of, uh, questions when you enter high school, what math am I going to use? What format am I going to use? And again, this is a preference for me and for him and how it works best for us. But if you are capable and you are are content and comfortable with doing this teaching it all your own great <laughs> not me I cannot do that and um, I mean I pretty much get up to a certain map and it's like all right we got to we got to find a different avenue we got to find a different way to do this so the online curriculum has um, it's been it's been well it's it's been well it's been good I think with Shorman math, this was our best option. Another option which I had looked into a little bit was uh, Denison math. I think Denison math or Denison algebra, however, however it's worded. Um, I don't know if that was fully online or if there were any online curriculums uh, for them. I had just heard a lot about them. And I think for the most part, the Denison math is to focus on um, and help kids that are maybe struggling a little bit with math. And yes, he has those moments, but I think for the most part, because this year we are doing Algebra 1 again, mixed in with geometry, um, I think he's, he's, he's done really well. I'm very pleased. Um, and I didn't think I needed to go the Denison math route. So we went ahead and opted for a little bit more challenging, a little bit more college-like, if you will. And um, that is kind of the best way to describe it, I think. It is, you are sitting, there is there is no fluff. The, the professor or the teacher is good um, at teaching and explaining. How it works is, like I said, everything is online with them. However, I can look and see um, you know, what his grades are, what his, um, you know, I get an email every time he does a practice set or a quiz or anything like that. I will sit there. Um, so it's usually like about, I guess, 30 to maybe 30 minute lecture ish. And so he'll sit there and he'll listen to the lecture and they'll, you know, do examples and they'll teach or professor will explain things. And, um, you know, as best, just as if I were sitting there doing it. And then I'm not sure about the timing of how many days in between, but after that you will do um, like a practice set. And yes, it's graded. I will sit there with him um, if, he, if he has questions. Uh, he usually does all of it himself, but when he has questions, he will come to me. And then I will sit there and I will work through things with him. And I feel like a lot of times, um, you know, with online curriculums, people will, kind of 
wipe their hands clean and say, nope, you are fully online. I don't want to have anything to do with this. All the grading's done. Everything, this is why I put you online. And that's not my goal. Um, yes, my goal is to make him more independent and to be able to learn this in a different, without me doing it, um, a different teacher, a different professor doing it. But I need him to come to me and tell me when he needs help and I want him to learn it. I do not just want him to sit there and guess. Now, all not all of the problem sets are questions, which are about 20 questions each. Um, they are not all multiple choice. There are some that make you figure out the answer and it is just blank, like you type it out, you know, negative 14, negative two, whatever. Um, and it'll say it's wrong and each time it's wrong, it deducts like a quarter off of like, you know, a quarter percentage off of that particular problem. So you still have a good chance um, and they let you do it, you know, resubmit the answer um, as many times as you need to. Now, obviously if it is, if there's only, you know, if it's multiple choice, there's only four options, then, you know, one of them is going to be right. Um, so it lets you do that, which I like. Um, and we will, you know, if he gets something wrong, he will come to me and say, I got this wrong. How do I do it? Um, and you can, on the practice set, at the top, it has the link to the lesson that it is corresponds with. So I have done that so many times. He's come to me with a question like, I do not remember this. And so I say, okay, let's sit and let's figure it out together. And so we will click on that. I'll look at how it's taught, how it's described. And then we will go over it together. Sometimes I will, many times, I will text a picture of the problem to my husband because he's the engineer and um, he will <laughs> figure out the answer and explain to me what the answer is. Um, so not only does it give you the link to back to the example and back to the actual lesson, it'll give you a link back to the video as well. So you can sit and watch it if that works better. Um, and so that is the goal, I think, of doing the practice is that you you haven't necessarily memorized everything, but you might need a little bit of help with it. It's almost like doing, you know, problems in the book after the lesson. You do them. Did I get it right? No. Okay. Well, let's figure out why I got it wrong. Or you know, yes, I got it right. This is great. I know how to do this. Now the thing with this math is I have found that each um, problem set a lot of times it builds. So like I will see or we will see the same. Prob kind of problem um, or or um, or concept in various problem sets in different chapters so they kind of make you revisit it each chapter which is totally fine with me because I think a lot of times those are the things that we have trouble with and so the more practice we get the better it is um, they will then have the quizzes the quizzes are timed I think 20 minutes and um, so he will do that and each time he gets, you know, submits a grade um, or submits his quiz, then it gets, gives me an email. So it keeps track of everything for me. Um, I, it took, it was a little bit of a learning curve um, for a minute to see what all this curriculum entails as it being my first year and his first year of doing online curriculum. But I am very pleased. So how, how this works is you get um, a full algebra one and then each, it's kind of like div, like divided up. So you have geometry starting in, in this semester and geometry in the next semester. So it is, you get a twofer. You get algebra and geometry. Now the reason I had him redo algebra was because last year when he did algebra, I was not grading it. I was not grading his stuff. I wasn't planning on grading it. He was still in eighth grade. I'm not required to grade it. Um, by the standards of the state and so I did not do that and so I knew I have to grade it so he's gonna have to redo it but it also worked to our benefit and to his benefit because he already knew the basic concepts of algebra one as he was going and taking it again and again I find that this curriculum is a lot more complex and um, expects a little bit more of you and there were quite a bit of things in this curriculum now that I'm curious, is this like Algebra 2 almost? Because things that he didn't learn in the Algebra with Math UC in Algebra 1. So um, if you are doing Math UC, you might want to kind of, you know, as we get into, as you get into the high school levels, you might want to take a look at that and say, am I getting enough with that? Which maybe you are, 
um, but enough to prepare you for the college level courses. And again, that is my goal is to prepare him for that. So um, yes, I just wanted to give kind of that quick update and tell you how I'm liking it and how he's liking it. Um, it is sometimes lengthy and a good thing also is that you can, um, you know, let's say he starts it, he starts the um, practice set, he can come back to it tomorrow. If let's say he starts it and then um, he isn't able to finish it that day, he can come back to it tomorrow. So it's not like it counts it wrong if you don't finish it that day. Um, so that's good also because we've done that where he's had some questions and he's had to ask my husband and um, so we've needed that extra day. So overall, I am really enjoying it. He is enjoying it, I think, as much as you can enjoy a math curriculum. Um, I anticipate using it um, because I do not want to go backwards. Um, I want to stick with this same curriculum throughout high school if I can, especially with math, because math is so different um, with different curriculums. And I've really figured that out over the years that um, no two curriculums are the same. And so being able to be consistent with him, especially through high school, is important because I want him to make sure that we're not redoing things again or we're not skipping around. Um, it's one thing if you do that in elementary school or middle school and you can kind of catch up or you can go back or whatever. In high school, it needs to be continuously consistent. So as best I can, that is what I'm trying to do. So if you have any questions on Shorman Math, let me know down below. Like I said, this is the first time that we have been using it. So um, it is, we're still learning as we go, but I think as we go along, it's just, it just gets easier and, and more consistent with, um, you know, submitting answers and just knowing how the whole website and program works and curriculum works. So if you have any questions, let me know down below guys, and I will see you next time. Take care.